This is a, a significant change and, and a big opportunity for most builders, uh, garage separation. So again, where we have a partition wall separating the living area to the garage, um, if you have floor framing that continues from the living over to the garage, we're looking for a blocking in there to make that assembly airtight as well. A lot of times the insulators are putting a piece of bat insulation up there from their uh, insulation standpoint, but now we want to have our air barrier in there as well. Okay. And again, that's really for a couple of reasons. Uh, um, one of our Air Force based projects in Charleston didn't put this air barrier in, and when we went in to do blower door testing, they were supposed to build the Interstar standards, by the way. So we went in to do blower door testing, and they failed to the test miserably. So what we found is that they didn't block this garage area, so we had attic on one side of the garage, and it literally let attic air into that floor system. And then it came through area crack and crevice in the entire house. Okay. So we do that from an air ceiling, and, and more importantly, think about the things that we store in garages. You know, some people get to park cars in theirs. I've got table saws in mine. Uh, but if you have cars, you have paint and gasoline and uh, fertilizers and all these nasty chemicals that are constantly off-gassing. So it's a way to prevent the off-gassing of those products from getting into the house as well. Good from the indoor air quality standpoint.